from an open marriage to Scientology, to the entanglement, to the slap, and the latest bombshell that Will and Jada have been separated since 2016, we about to talk about it right now. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. If you are new here, hey! welcome but if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for being here i appreciate it now look let's get into the hottest topic i can talk about so many things in regards to will jada their relationship their marriage and everything that's been happening all over the news and so on and so forth but there was one thing that recently stood out to me that i want to break down because this had all of us in a chokehold in an interview on the today show jada specifically says and i quote i made a promise that there would never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through anything. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Woo! When I heard that, I was like, that's right, Jada. That's how it should be. You made a commitment to your husband, to God, in front of your family and friends. And that's how it's supposed to be. But then I start reading the comments on the Shade Room and the Jasmine brand and all TMZ and all of the other news outlets who broke this story. And y'all seem to think that this is an uncommon issue. And honey, let me be the first to tell you that this is very common, very common. So I don't know if it's because I am a therapist and I've worked with thousands of couples or because I have seen this in my own personal life. But think about it. We all have an uncle or an auntie or a close family member or somebody that we know that is still legally married, but they're going on with their life and doing whatever they want to do. I know people that are broken up, but they still literally live together because they have children. I also know people who are broken up, who live separate lives and are also dating and being in a relationship with other people. So listen, this is a very uncommon thing. Like this just doesn't happen all the time. It happens all the time. And I mean all the time. Think about this from a cultural perspective, even black families, this is super common as well. So when we think about, you know, oh my God, I can't believe that they would stay together and not legally get a divorce. Child, people do this all the time. And as that's a different layer when you are a celebrity, when you have fame, when you have fortune, when you have the financial resources. It's not all fun and games trying to get a divorce when you have major assets. The fact that you love this person and you've literally been married to them since like 1997, I believe they've been together. But also think about the financial ramifications that happens when you get a divorce and you don't have a prenup, which I will make a video about prenups <laughs> soon. So think about all of the money, the notoriety, the businesses, the homes, the land, the property that they would have to figure out and split if they decided to part ways. Now, I'm not saying that's the only reason that's preventing them from getting a legal divorce, but I'm saying that definitely plays into it. Now, I think the part of this that had everybody shook it wasn't necessarily the part that they decided not to currently get a divorce and just to live separate lives, but it was truly because they have been showing up in the media, at the photo shoots, at the movie premieres, at the award shows, showing up all on the red table talk, acting and pretending like they are together and officially a couple when they have literally been separated for seven whole years. That's the part that was a little tricky. And to be honest with you, as a licensed therapist, especially a marriage therapist, I was like, you know what? That was a little phony. They was tricking the public. They was tricking us. But then I started to think about it and think about all of the couples that I've worked with. Think, think about how this is a really delicate and intimate and fragile situation. And if you and your partner are still trying to figure out if y'all want to be together, don't want to be together, we're going to live together, live apart. How are we going to manage these kids, our assets, and all of those things? This ain't the time to invite the public, the petty public <laughs> at that, the nosy public at that, the unempathetic public at that into your world. Because you know, just like we ripping them to shreds right now, y'all would have ripped them to pieces if they would have shared with us that they were separated and living separate lives, but haven't got the legal divorce y'all would have just lost y'all whole entire mind. So when an issue like this is so delicate, you absolutely need to take time, even if it is seven years, to figure it out. Figure out if y'all want to stay together, be apart. Is there going to be a partnership? What are you guys going to do? Figure this out privately, 
as possible before you try to expect the world and the public to understand the ins and outs of your marriage. Now, because they have been fairly private over the years, we have just had to speculate uh, what has been going on. That's where the rumors of them being in Scientology came about. That's when rumors about them having an open marriage came about. That's when the whole entanglement thing with August came about, right? And I believe that we started to get a glimpse a more intimate glimpse into their lives once the Red Table Talk came out. Baby, we started to know all the tea, okay? We started to know all of the business, and I'm not mad about that. I appreciate them for being open and honest when they don't have to. There's a lot of celebrity couples, baby, who are extremely private, and they do not tell the public any of their business because that's what they choose to do, and I actually think it works pretty well for a lot of people, but there are other celebrities who choose to invite us into their world because their relationship has been so public. And we want to know, to be honest, because we know Z and being open enough for them to share their marriage and the ins and out of that is, it's vulnerable. It's sensitive. It's also private. It's, it's a safe space. And I think it's very hard to do that when you're in the limelight. Think about how difficult and how raggedy your relationships <laughs> have been okay think about all of the times you were still trying to figure out if you're supposed to be with that person and you're not sure and you going back and forth and sometimes you in it sometimes you out of it think if you had all the cameras on you think if you had all the paparazzi on you think if you had social media and all of the comments and the the naysayers all up in your ear think about how that would color your perspective and how that would make you and your partner feel. So being that they are in the limelight and have lights, cameras, and action on them, it just amplifies what normally typically happens in relationships behind closed doors. Now you're probably saying, well, look, they didn't have to share their tea. They didn't have to tell us what went on with August and talk about this and that on the red table and all. You're right, they did not, but they chose to, right? And you have to have a level of empathy for people because they're still human. At the end of the day, whether you agree with their life, their lifestyle, their choices, they're still human beings. And how would you like it if somebody wanted to rip you to shreds for your relationship choices? You would feel away, right? You would absolutely feel away. This is just evidence of how we do that with all celebrity couples. We did that with Kiki Palmer and her baby daddy, Darius, when you know they went to the whole Usher situation. We doing that currently at the time of this video with Jenny Mai and Jeezy with going through their divorce. So we are always in celebrities' business, especially the married ones. And I think that we just have to remember that love isn't linear, right? That doesn't mean you wanna have this straight line and this straight path and you wanna have this perfect relationship and this perfect marriage your whole entire life from the day that you guys get together and get married is going to be peaches and roses and yay like that just isn't realistic there's going to be ups downs, setbacks i like you some days i don't like you i love you some days i don't know what we're doing here we have different perspectives of who we thought the other person would be our finances our family blending those things it's just a lot to deal with outside of the cameras, let alone being in the limelight and being a celebrity couple when all eyes are on you. It just gets amplified. And I also made another video, I'll link it up here so you guys can see it, about how celebrities are just humans. <laughs> they just got a little bit more money, a little bit more followers, a little bit more notoriety, a little bit more of a platform than the average person. But, but they go through the same stuff we go through, you and I. They are absolutely, positively no different. So why do we have empathy for our uh, our uncles, our cousins, our best friends, and all of that when they're going through stuff. But when a celebrity, it happens to them, we are ripping them to shreds. I don't think that's fair. I think the most interesting part of this whole entire thing and the question that I had was, hmm, Jada, why now? Out of all of the time that y'all have been in the media and we have created stories about y'all lives because we didn't have all of the details, we were looking at y'all sideways for some of the choices that y'all made. Why now? Why release this tea now? Why share this now? I'm interested to find out why now, right? And is it because, as everyone has stated, maybe it's because she wants them book sales to go up 
and she wants to make sure that this new book that she has coming out called Worthy, a New York Times bestseller. What is the reason why she chose to release this information now? Because it seems like they're still in the mix. It seems like they still really haven't figured out whether they're going to be together, not be together, live separate lives, come back together, stay separated forever, never get a legal divorce. They still haven't really figured it out. So why are you leaking and releasing this information now? So I think a lot of us are starting to question her motives and I understand why we would probably think, well, girl, you're just telling us all this tea so you can rack up the book sales because you want everybody to read your book. But also a part of me, the human part of me, the therapist, the professional side of me is saying, well, maybe this was just the perfect time. Everything was perfectly aligned for her to speak her truth for her to get everything out. It takes a lot to hold something like that close to your chest for seven years, y'all. Seven years, that's a long time. And so maybe she wants to be free. Maybe she wants to have this monkey off of her back no pun intended. Maybe she wants this information out into the public because she was tired of holding it in and just wanted to be her authentic self and to share her truth. And so if that is the case, I'm here for it, right? I am completely here for that because there's freedom in owning your story. There's freedom in sharing parts of your story with other people who are also going through this, man. When we read her story and their story and their family story, we go probably look at them and be like, well, she kind of like us. She went through some of the same things that we went through. And if she can go through it, we can go through it. Now, I'm also interested to find out what Will is going to say, because he's been quiet since this dropped and since it's been trending. He's been on hush hush mode. But one thing I know about Will, he'll be quiet for a little while, but he eventually comes out with something. So I would be interested in learning more about what his side is, what his perspective is. Is he OK with this information being you know, out there to the public? And if he does, you better believe I'm coming back with a part two of this video. So thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. Make sure to stick around. I have a whole bunch of celebrity tea on my page. So make sure to like, subscribe, and stay connected for all of my weekly videos I have coming your way. I will see you soon. Bye.